Hi students, welcome to my channel. Now I am going to explain 7th class, 5th chapter, triangles, x, x, y, and 4. First problem, two sides of a triangle are 5 cm and 4 cm respectively. Write any three possible measurements that shoot for the third side. Given two sides of a triangle are 5 cm and 4 cm. So find out sum of two sides. Sum of two sides that is equal to 5 cm plus 4 cm that is equal to 9 cm. So also find difference of the two sides. Difference of two sides. It is equal to 5 cm minus 4 cm that is equal to 1 cm. So observe the sum of the two sides that is equal to 9 cm. Difference of two sides that is equal to 1 cm. So the third side must be lies between 9 cm and 1 cm. So the measure of third side must be between 1 cm and 9 cm. So therefore the possible measurements that suitable for the third side side are 2 cm, 3 cm, 4 cm, 5 cm, 6 cm, 7 cm, 8 cm. So these measurements are possible measurements for the third side. So this is solution of first problem. Next problem, second Roman. The lengths of line segments are 3 cm, 5 cm, 6 cm and 9 cm. First one, from the above measurements, which group of the line segments can form a triangle? Given the lengths of line segments are 3 cm, 5 cm, 6 cm and 9 cm. So in the problem they are asking which line segments can form a triangle. So the group of line segments that form triangles are 3, 5, 6 and 5, 6, 9. So because the sum of the two sets the must be greater than the third set. So 3 plus 5 that is equal to 8 centimeters. It is greater than 6 centimeters. And also the difference is must be less than the third set. 5 centimeters minus 3 centimeters that is equal to 2 centimeters. So this is less than the third set that is 6 centimeters. So like this, 5 plus 6 it is equal to 11 cm, it is greater than the third side 9 cm and also the difference of these two sides 6 cm minus 5 cm that is equal to 1 cm, it is less than the third side 9 cm. Next, second Roman second one. Which group of line segments cannot form a triangle give reason? The group of line segments that cannot form a triangle are 3, 5, 9 and 3, 6, 9. So these line segments cannot form a triangle. So because 3 plus 5 it is equal to 8. So it is less than third side. So in this group also 3 plus 6 it is equal to 9. So it is equal to the third side. So hence the groups 3 comma 5 comma 9 and 3 comma 6 comma 9. 
cannot form a triangle. Next problem, third Roman first one. Find the value of x in the following triangles. So this is the triangle P E N. So in this triangle, the two sides are equal. The side P E equal to four centimeters. The side P N it is also equal to four centimeters. So this triangle is called isosceles triangle. So in isosceles triangle, two angles are also equal. Equal side P E opposite angle is angle X. The equal side P N opposite angle is 65 degrees. So these two angles are equal. So from this figure, angle X equal to 65 degrees. So from triangle P E N. The side PE is given 4 cm. PN it is also equal to 4 cm. So therefore, the side PE it is equal to PN. So it is a isosceles triangle. Angles opposite to equal sides are equal in isosceles triangle. So angle N it is equal to angle E. So angle N equal to angle E. These two angles are equal. So therefore X equal to 65 degrees. This is solution for the third Roman first one. Next problem third Roman second one. So this is triangle B G A. So in this triangle we need to find out the X value. So observe, so in this angle B equal to 56 degrees, angle A also given 56 degrees. So in a triangle, two angles are equal, the triangle is called isosceles triangle. So in isosceles triangle, the two sides are also equal. So 56 opposite side is the side BG and this 56 opposite angle is the side AG, these two sides are equal. So from the diagram, the x it is also equal to 4.3 cm only because of isosceles triangle. From triangle ABG, angle A is given 56 degrees and also angle B it is equal to 56 degrees. So given triangle is a isosceles triangle. So in a isosceles triangle, the sides opposite to equal angles are equal so therefore the side ag that is equal to the side bg so bg equal to x it is equal to 4.3 centimeters so this is solution for the third roman second one next problem fourth roman a triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle in which the side AB equal to AC. If angle A equal to 80 degrees, then find angle B and angle C. So given triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. And also the side AB equal to AC and angle A equal to 80 degrees. So consider angle B equal to X and also angle C also equal to X because of isosceles triangle. So in isosceles triangle two angles are equal. B equal to X and angle C also equal to X. The sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So in triangle ABC angle A plus angle B plus angle C that is equal to 180 degrees. So in the problem is given angle A equal to 80 degrees plus angle B is X angle C also equal to X it is equal to 180 degrees. So 80 plus X plus X becomes 2X that is equal to 180 degrees. So from this 2X equal to 180 minus 80 plus 80 it is moving to right side minus 80 2x equal to 180 minus 80 it becomes 100 degrees 
so from this x equal to 100 2 it is move into right side division so by 2 so 2 ones 2 5 10 2 into 0 0 so x value equal to 50 degrees so therefore angle b equal to 50 degrees and angle c it is also equal to 50 degrees this is solution for the fourth problem next problem fifth roman find the values of x in each of the adjacent triangles so this is the figure one so this is triangle p q r so in this triangle they are given the angle p equal to 53 degrees the angle q equal to x we need to find out the angle x only so and also given the side pq it is equal to the side qr so in a triangle two sides are equal the triangle is called isosceles triangle um, triangle pqr angle p equal to 53 degrees and the side pq it is equal to the side qr so triangle pqr is a isosceles triangle angles opposite to equal sides are equal in isosceles triangle so therefore the side pq opposite angle is r so angle r that is equal to the side qr opposite angle is p so angle r equal to angle p so angle p value is given 53 degrees so this is equal to 53 degrees now angle r that is a 53 degrees so next to find angle x so in triangle pqr the sum of three angles equal to 180 degrees so angle p plus angle q plus angle r that is equal to 180 degrees angle p value is 53 degrees plus angle q that is x only plus x plus angle r it is also equal to 53 degrees it is equal to 180 degrees 53 plus 53 it becomes 106 degrees plus x it is equal to 180 degrees so from this find out the x value so x equal to 180 degrees plus 106 it is moving to right side minus 106 so x equal to 180 minus 106 it becomes 74 degrees so x value is 74 degrees this is solution for the fifth roman first one next to problem fifth roman find the values of x in each of the adjacent triangles so this is triangle lmn so in this we need to find the angle x only so the 110 degrees is called exterior angle so this symbols indicates the two sides are equal the side lm that is equal to the side ln so from triangle lmn the side lm that is equal to the side ln so in a triangle two sides are equal the triangle is a isosceles triangle so triangle lmn is a isosceles triangle in a isosceles triangle angles opposite to equal sides are equal so the side lm opposite angle is angle n the side ln opposite angle is the angle m so these two sides are equal so therefore the angle m that is equal to the angle n that is equal to angle x so this angle 110 degrees is the exterior angle of l this exterior angle this is equal to the sum of the opposite angles m and n so from triangle lmn the angle m plus the angle n that is equal to 110 degrees so m equal to x and angle n also equal to x this is equal to 110 degrees so x plus x becomes 2x that is equal to 110 degrees 
so from this find x value so x equal to 110 by 2 so 2 1s are 2 5 is 10 2 5 is 10 so the x value it is equal to 55 degrees next problem sixth roman which of the following statements are true in the following diagram so this is triangle t o y so this is a right angle triangle why because one of the angle that is equal to 90 degrees and also given angle y equal to 50 degrees so find out angle t by using angle sum property so from triangle t o y angle t plus angle o plus angle y that is equal to 180 degrees so because of angle sum property so angle t plus angle o is given 90 degrees plus angle y it is equal to 50 degrees it is equal to 180 degrees so angle t plus 90 plus 50 it becomes 140 degrees it is equal to 180 degrees so from this find angle t so angle t equal to 180 degrees plus 140 it is moving to right side minus 140 degrees angle t equal to 180 minus 140 it becomes 40 degrees so now the angle t value is a 40 degrees so in this triangle the smallest angle is 40 degrees so in a right angle triangle the largest angle is a hypotenuse so this is a hypotenuse the ty is a largest angle the side opposite the smallest angle is it is always the smallest than the other two sides so the side oy is the smallest side so oy is the smallest and the next smallest is the side to so among the three sides the largest side is hypotenuse ty now coming to the first one the side oy is less than ot so observe oy is less than ot so this is a correct statement sixth roman first one is true so next to second one the side ty is less than to so this is a wrong statement why because the ty is largest side in this triangle so sixth roman second one the second statement is a false statement next to third statement angle y is less than angle t so observe angle y equal to 50 degrees angle t equal to 40 degrees so this is also wrong so why because angle y is greater than angle t so third statement it is also false statement fourth one the side ty is less than the side oy so ty is the largest side in this triangle so they are given wrong statement so sixth roman fourth one also false false statement okay students this is the solutions for the 5.4 exercise thanks for watching this video for more videos please subscribe my channel